Hey Pisces, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do your bonus reading for June 2021. General love reading, who is coming and what are they feeling for you? Keep an open mind, it's a general reading, take what resonate and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading with me. If you want it, check out the description box for all the personal and private reading. Contact me on my email address and Instagram link. This is the two authentic ways that you can reach out to me. So be careful from the scammers and fake people. Let's see, sun, moon, rising, or any planet, if you have in Pisces, you can write this reading. Let's see who is coming towards my Pisces. And what are they bringing? Let's see, we have the Ten of Wands. I'm using a vice versa tarot deck. It's reverse, so... Let's see who is coming. Mmm, mmm, tower. Reverse. We have the Seven of Cups. All these reversal is definitely talking about this is someone from the past. Or you have something with this person. You definitely know who this person is. Magician Reverse, yeah. This is definitely someone you know. Here you go. The devil is up front, finally. Mm -mm, but it's not a good card to get it. We have the King of swords here you go oh my god who are you dealing with sun reverse okay the wands here you go so you have a two people i'm getting mm. yes yes you have a two people you have a choice pisces i'm doing this reading all the time king of wands reverse here Wait, you have two kings. Look at this. I told you. You have options in love. Or maybe more than two people because we have one page too. So this could be a same gender sex relationship. Does not have to be. For others of you, there's a choice here. I'm going to get to know that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. King of Pentacles. How many people is here? Oh. Okay, bottom of the deck is a six of swords and four of wands. Like, I like that. I like that this all this new energy here. So no matter Pisces, you are going to be happy. That's matter, right? That's a matter. You have a clarity. You have a truth coming out. Um, for some of you, I'm getting with the ace of swords and six of swords. There is definitely... Okay, I'm going to talk about first like who you're dealing with. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius vibes, air, inner, air sign. I'm also getting Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the King of Pentacles. Um, and this could be a Rainbow Tribe connection. You could be from Rainbow Tribe. This is a Rainbow Couple. Does not have to be, but I'm picking up here, okay? Um, this could be Aries or Scorpio. Hmm. Heavy Aries, Scorpio. Could be any sign but these signs are present here okay bottom of the deck is this reading i'm seeing this is your energy pisces to be honest with the ace of swords and six of swords there is someone coming from the past six of swords is definitely talk about moving forward peacefully resolving your issue that had you have with someone or you have a conflict with or there is a confusion there is a mental clarity that you did not had before but now with the ace of swords with this conversation or the truth is coming out in front of you or maybe this person is speaking up i feel this is that person with the king of swords that you had some type of mental conflict with you never know this person how this person feel for you you never know maybe this person's intentions because they never expressed it they were cold uh, towards you they were they were e maybe not emotionally available to you whatever a case is because i'm seeing the tower here this is someone that you had a breakup with or this could be someone that you had a falling apart with right because i'm seeing this person is holding a sword and i feel like this is that person wanting to speak up the truth to you this is definitely someone that you had a breakup with or you are not in a communication with you you walked away they walked away but whatever the case happened between you and them there's a you are in a different place now or you will be in a different place after this uh, this person is going to speak up their truth because i'm seeing they're going to reveal you how do they feel uh, or maybe they're going to express it that what just happened that why this tower movement happened or why they were not available to you or they, why they break up with you or you break up with them or something i don't know this is a truth coming from the past person that you had a breakup with or tower moment with 
this person who hurt you, who shock you, who shake up your world. I'm talking about that person, okay? And we have the six of swords. You can see that this person is bringing the cup here. So they are hoping that you're going to accept them. You're going to understand them. You understand them and you're going to be nurtured them. Like you're going to be very open. How do they feel or why, why they did it behave in this way? In this certain way, why they, why they behave in this way? I feel for some of you, this could be a mental clarity. Like this person is finally getting the mental clarity about this connection. Maybe they were not sure in the past, like what they have with you. But now they know that maybe it's too late for them because they know that they maybe have a fear that because this person is definitely wanting to talk, but they, they have a fear like they're hoping that you can understand them with the, with the emotions, with the feelings and with the care. They feel like you, you should be kind with them. They, that's what they're hoping, that you should be kind with them, with your words. This person is definitely feeling hurt that that they, they definitely, I feel like this is someone that they, they don't have any idea when you were there in their life, that how much you mean to them or what type of connection you're having with them. Because I'm seeing with the crown, this is a crown chakra for me also. And you can also see that the divine, the, uh, the eye here third eye something like that so this person's third eye and crown chakra opened recently or by meeting you when you walked away when you blocked them when you stopped talking to them or whatever happened so this is what happened their crown chakra and third eye chakra now they're seeing the things in a different way i'm hearing from the divine so it's up to you this person's definitely you open this person's eyes you open this person's third eye you definitely give them crown they are mature now. They, this person does not have a mental clarity before, but now they have it when they're approaching you. So it's up to you because I'm saying this was a burden for you. So I'm not saying that you need to accept that because with the devil and ten of wands, this was very toxic connection. For some of you, this could be your ex-husband or wife or ex-boyfriend because this was very toxic with the ten of wands and the queen of pentacles. With the, sorry, why I said queen of pentacles? Um the devil so this was very toxic unhealthy connection you were you were feeling i feel like it was uh, unhealthy bound for you because you were not letting this person go you felt a lot of passion and desire for them but it was one-sided because this person never give you the never maybe um, understand you or maybe they was not receptive yes this person was not decept receptive i'm getting they were deceptive they were indecisive they were they were not there they were not there to be honest this person recently got this this um this awakening and this truth, this mental clarity about this connection. When you walked away from them, when you stopped talking to them, or if you're not still talking to them, get away from them. Because I feel like that's how they're going to understand. I also have a four of wands energy. For some of you, this could be your twin flame because we have the crown chakra and the third eye chakra. This is a very intuitive connection, very spiritual, very divinely, because it's, it's not in your hand. It's out of control. It's just happened. It just happened. Um, with the four of wands, it's eleven eleven. So this person could be your twin flame, but this was, a bit, but maybe between you and this person, there was an unhealthy pattern that you need to heal. You need you you have some type of karmic bond, or this could be your marriage partner. I was talking about already, or you were living with them, but you were living in an unhealthy connection because maybe this was sexual but emotionally unavailable, or maybe this person was not seeing your value and worth before, but now they do. So I don't know if it's too late or not. We have a seven of cups and the sun. Look at this. It's definitely, we. I'm almost seeing, look at this. This person see the sun in you, but they're not happy because you're not there in the life. For some of you, this was a very confusing, still confusing for you because I feel like they did not tell you the truth yet because they did not arrive yet. For some of you, this person was processing through, through their ego and pride and still maybe. They don't want to let you know how do they feel because they're still trying to get then, you know, all the, they're dotting all the, it's like they're making all the dots here, basically wanting to know that what just happened. We have the magician reverse here. Some of you, this could be not a single person. I'm seeing, because I told you there's a someone coming from the past, but there is a new energy too I'm picking up. There is someone who is not single. They could be already in a committed relationship or married with a Taurus Hierophant and Four of Wands, but they're wanting to be with you. So be careful, whatever you are attracting. This could be someone that they want to have an affair with you. Or maybe you had already this with this person and there is someone new coming to you. Your real person, your true love. With this energy of Page of Wands, this is definitely someone who's, who's, who feel very um, 
attractive to you, very passionate about you. They have a lot of desire. Look at this phoenix here behind the back. So they could be Scorpio. Heavy Scorpio in their chart or Gemini or Virgo. This is definitely, this is not a single person, by the way. This person feel helpless without you. They feel like this could be someone that who's admiring you or wanting to have a, some sexual connection with you because they can't give you whatever you're looking for, like marriage or commitment. They, they're not. The magician reverse, this, this person is definitely a manipulator, so be careful. You can manipul you can be manipulated by this person's personality or their look, their look, because I feel this person looks very, very attractive, charming, sensual, sexy, and you can fall in this person's char charm. So be careful. I feel this is this is someone you already dated maybe, or you this is the same person that you felt in this person's charm, but when you involved with this person, you know that this person was nothing empathy emotionally okay so or maybe this is someone who is coming to you now be careful Pisces MC I'm telling you there is options here don't fall in in someone's outer charm okay external looks I'm hearing okay don't because you need to learn your lesson or maybe you already learned your lesson so don't fall for this thing again it's look like universe is going to test you now like you you done your test you complete your cycle, you learn your lesson or not, because the tower moment again happened, okay? Because you need to understand that you deserve love and you should be with someone who can give you the love, okay? That's what you deserve. You deserve happiness. You deserve to be with someone who give you happiness, who cherish you, who support you, who uplift you, not who can make you feel like you are unworthy or you don't deserve love or you should not be in this with this person or maybe this person manipulates you and get you whatever they want, but they can't give you back. So please open your eyes before it's too late or learn your lesson. This is a test. I feel like universe is putting you another test. There is someone else coming in your life. Like same like the past person that you were dealing with. To know that you learn your lesson or not. Because I feel like this person is also going to manipulate you. With their look, with their charm, with their talks, with their this excitement. Like I'm the hero, I'm, a, I'm the heroine, girl or guy, I don't know who this person is. But this is a test, Pisces, that you need to pass. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. Interesting reading. We have the um, Hierophant, we have the King of Wands, right? This is that person who's going, to, who's going to target you. But they're married. This could be someone that they're not going to reveal that they're married because they're going to hide it. They're going to hide it like they're not. I feel this is the same person here. Look at this king of wands or king of pentacles. This could be the uh, our earth sign or fire sign. And we have the hierophant. Could be a Taurus specifically. So this hierophant is also wearing a mask here. Be careful in this, in this deck especially. Okay? So this person is definitely coming to tell you are going to present like they are the perfect partner for you. But they're not. So be careful. Be careful, Pisces. I'm warning you. With the Hierophant here, this could be someone who's already married. Or this is someone that they're going to show and portray like, I'm the best partner. You have to choose me. I'm going to give you commitment. But they are not. Because two of swords reverse here. You're going to be not understand who to choose or who to not. You're going to be confused. Don't be confused, Pisces. Trust your intuition. Because I'm seeing with the Ten of Cups, you deserve happiness. You deserve to be with someone that you can feel the emotions with. You can feel the warmth with that person. You can feel the, you can feel that this person and you can have a future with this person. So trust your intuition and your inner gut feeling and your own heart. Rather than this person's charm, rather than what this person is presenting to you, they're going to show you like they can give you the world. With this energy, but they're not. Magician reverse, this person is not going to give you that thing. Don't fall in this person's charms. Or they're, they're, they're uh, talking, but there, there is no action. This person is going to manipulate you, I'm hearing. Or this could be a, a more than three or four suitors. Be careful. But I feel that this person that you had dealt with in the past, or maybe still dealing with it, you're going through this, this, this awakening and everything all, you feel the bond with that person. But I know this person did not treat you well, but they could mean well. Okay, they're coming to tell you. Yeah, deception reverse here. So there's a definitely uh, a people who are coming to you to get you because they, have a, they don't have good intentions. Yeah, they definitely want to sleep with you. Be careful. These people. You know better what, this, what these people want from you. This person wants to sleep with you. These new people are one or two people. 
they're going to definitely wanting to be with you so you deserve safe love okay someone that you can feel home with someone that don't be indecisive i feel this is your energy you're going to not understand what to do and who to choose past life connection yeah someone that you had a past life connection with very intense very soul like so that is a person for you whoever the person that you feel soul connection with you feel your crown or third eye chakra mean your your intuitions your guides your god your own heart your gut feelings are telling you is the person choose that person don't feel don't fall anyone's charm please don't fall anyone's charms because they're going to show you like they are the king of wands or king of pentacles they're going to show you like they're magician they can do anything for you they're going to be they provide you the world but they're page honey and they're going to sleep with you and when you're done mm -mm, they got vanished they got it what they want be careful religious factor so there could be a religious factors involved here different culture different background or this could be different beliefs like this person is definitely going to test you this new person i'm hearing this is the new people coming to you yeah let go of control issues engagement yeah i feel like you're going to get married and committed to someone very soon i mean definitely i'm seeing here there's a long-term partnership coming to you karmic relationship so your karmic partner or someone that you had a tie with and you're still healing and recovery from coming back to you. But you need to let go of control issues. You could have a family with this person too, like children too. But there is a, always a tie or bond, like you reconnect with each other or rekindle with each other. Because it's karmic, it's coming from the past life. You have some unfinished business from the past life with this person. Wedding rings, this person is going to marry you. Your karmic partner is going to marry you whoever this person is someone wants to marry you wants to make you theirs but be careful don't fall into trap of these people who is going to be a distraction or test from the universe like if you already want this person that you feel your soulmate or twin flame or you just want to going to fall into another trap camera so i feel this person is um watching you reminiscing you about the past um you, this is also talking about perception that you need to change about relationships or maybe their perception is changed totally changed perception i'm hearing of this person something happened on this lunar eclipse we also have i like you this person is going to tell you that they like you and they want to be with you they're going to express it for some of you i'm getting this is a secret admirer they're going to reveal it but be careful don't fall into it until you're not going to know that what are their intentions this is someone coming back to tell you that they like you. They want to be with you. Romance, romance is blooming. Like this person loves you, likes you. But maybe, yeah, this is definitely someone from the past I'm getting. They're, they're definitely missing you. They are reminiscing that thing. When you tell them you like them, you, they want to tell you. This is karmic. We have addictions and Cupid's arrow. Someone is, could be obsessing over you. They're wanting to be with you. This could be someone that I feel like who's very addictive and uh, their personality is addictive and they're definitely wanting to get you like you're their target you are their target so be careful this is definitely that energy i'm getting a very obsessive and very addictive energy like they feel like you're their you're their prey you are their um they're haunting you this could be a sagittarius don't fall into that um, but you are definitely ascending and you have definitely options i'm telling you there's a many options here that you have at pisces you have options you have options, I'm telling you. But you have to choose. You are definitely on ascending level. Don't go there that you are coming from. Because you, this is a time that you need to rise from the ashes and listen to it. Because this is a test from the universe, like who you are going to choose. Right? So this is your reading. I will see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.